Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another speed build video in The Sims 4. Happy Sunday, I hope you're all having the most amazing day ever so far and thank you so much for joining me here today. So as you can see, we are doing something a little bit different today. First of all, we are building in Sulani. This is like unheard of for me, which is weird because every time I do build in this world, I realise just how stunning I think it is. Uh, anyway, that's by the by. <laughs> so building in Sulani, we're building a tiny house. So it comes in at exactly 64 tiles. And this house also has a separate greenhouse too, which means that we can have a look at our new kit items that we received. I think it was last week or the week before. Anyway, yeah. So I just figured I've been in a little bit of a building slump since Friday and I decided to pull myself out of that slump essentially <laughs> by building something totally out of my comfort zone. I did not even have a reference image in front of me while I was building this, which for me makes me quite uncomfortable normally. However, with this, I actually found it quite an enjoyable experience. So you'll have to let me know what you think of this little house in the comments down below. If you've got like a sim in mind as to who you might want to live here or like if, you, if you're planning on downloading it and maybe renovating it yourself or like whatever, I'd just, I'd just be really interested to hear your thoughts. Anyway, <laughs> the exterior structure has come together already. This is not a particularly long video. I think this house all in took me just over an hour to build, which I didn't think was too bad considering there's quite a lot of detailing, particularly on the outside. Um, I really enjoyed having a look at the greenhouse items too that we got with our new kit. And actually I wasn't expecting to like them as much as I did because I don't generally build greenhouses if ever in my sims homes but i'm hoping that that kit will sort of like give me the nudge that i need to be able to create some greenhouses for my sims builds moving forward but anyway <laughs> you will see here i do play around with some different color schemes and then i go for the tried and true the turquoise with the beautiful sort of rich brown roofing and then the pops of these beautiful purple flowers I just think it looks absolutely incredible and I also had in mind the sim that lives here is a bit of a plant fiend you know they've got a separate greenhouse there's quite a few plants inside the house itself you know there's all these beautiful flowers growing up the side of the house too I just sort of had in my mind that this sim really really enjoys plants so they're potentially a plant lover is probably what I'm thinking um, and it's also worth noting here I do believe I end up changing I, I can't remember exactly when I do it but I do change the colour scheme of the greenhouse and that's simply because it was just looking a little bit too bright for me at this point like it looked a little bit out of place I think that's what I'm trying to get at it just looked a little bit out of place so I decided to change it to sort of match the sort of more brownish tone in the roof of the actual house itself and I just think it looks so much better so don't panic in the moment it does we do we do go and change that <laughs> But I also add like these wind turbines to the roof here. I also add one just to the back of the build. Because I was also thinking that maybe the sim that lives here, um, they're quite an advocate for like eco-friendly things. Um, you know, they generate their own, like not always, but they, they sometimes like to generate their own electricity and, and things like that. So there's, there's quite a lot going on for such a small house. <laughs> but I'm one of these believers in that if you are going to build a tiny house or a micro house, then the more details, the better. To make it look a little bit more, first, visually interesting. And two, if you are going to play in houses like this, I think, it really really helps you sort of immerse yourself in the gameplay if you've got a lot going on and there's like detailings and a bit of a story to be told with the house itself but that's just me there's some people that I'm I'm sure would prefer like the cleaner lines and not necessarily like go clutter clutter mad but me being me I do I, we, we know I love some clutter we, we know this <laughs> at this point this is not news but yes anyway <laughs> I also had an idea that this sim might like to um, have a boat and sort of like set sail on the seas just whenever they want so I thought that was a really sweet idea um I also add like um a, one of the the bee it's not like a beekeeper thing it's like where you keep the bees <laughs> to the left hand side of the greenhouse but I do end up removing that um because I was thinking that maybe they don't do too much outdoor gardening it's very much kept sort of to the greenhouse 
But obviously, if you want to add more planters to the outside, then please go ahead. You know that if you download my builds, then you are pretty much free to do whatever you want with them. <laughs> so it's really interesting to see, like, if you do download this, what, what your sort of intentions with it are and how you're going to change it. But yeah, you can pretty much see here, th this is this is the build as is on the screenshots um, or the thumbnail, because <laughs> you probably haven't seen the screenshots yet unless you've come from Tumblr. But anyway, I feel like in a really rambly mood today too, and not in a good way. Like sometimes I'll be in a rambly mood and I'll have something to say. Whereas today I feel like I've I've got, I, I want to talk about lots of stuff, but I don't really know what I want to talk about. <laughs> which is not a good place to be in, especially on a Sunday. And Sundays for me, are, they're, they're, they're tough days because I I always dread, because it's Monday tomorrow. I just dread Mondays. And knowing that I have to go to work tomorrow, it kind of puts a dampener on the entire day, which is why I tend to like releasing videos on Sundays because it means that I've got a little project to work on for the day. And this makes me super happy. So <laughs> it just means that my Sundays aren't as... Um, I don't know, like, I'm not gonna go with the word depressing because that's not what I'm, that's not what I mean at all. But yeah, just as, anyway, I feel like I'm bumming everyone out. That is not why you came to listen to me talk, I'm sure. <laughs> but yeah, this is the greenhouse. This is, oh my gosh, I'm so obsessed with this greenhouse. I know it's not very big, but let's let's be honest, it's a tiny house. So I was very limited with what I what space I could I could actually take up with the greenhouse. But I'm really really pleased with it. I think it looks absolutely beautiful. I think there's just there's just so much going on. And when I was taking the screenshots, I was like, this this looks so good. And I don't normally like amp myself up like this, but I. Do do, I do really really enjoy this so you'll have to let me know what you think of this little greenhouse and you'll have to also let me know as well if you want me to add more greenhouses to my builds like maybe I maybe I'll, like I was saying maybe this kit is like the kick up the bum that I needed to actually add more greenhouses to my builds because I think it's really really easy as well when you've been building for as long as I have it's really easy to like fall into certain things that you just typically do for every single house and so I think when you do that there's nothing wrong with that because obviously that's that's your own building style but I think with me specifically I I like to sometimes <laughs> sometimes being the prominent word here branch out and try new things and when kits come out that I wouldn't necessarily have voted for or wanted, but when they come out and they've got like really cute items, sometimes I think, well, that's actually a really, really good idea because it means that I can try this. And so in the, in the case of this, so like we got the basement one and we got the greenhouse one this time around, right? So typically I do not add basements to my builds. But because of the new kit, I might consider putting a basement in my next family house or with the greenhouse kit, I might think about adding more greenhouses to my builds. So you get what I'm saying. <laughs> so this is when I decide to change the color scheme of the greenhouse and I just think it fits and works so much better. And it just looks a little bit more beachy. Like it looks like the, the type of greenhouse that you would probably find on the beach rather than a greenhouse that you'd find like in a suburban house, in a suburban setting. So I'm really, really pleased with all the swatches of the windows too. And I have noticed that there's some swatches of these windows that you could absolutely add to just like a normal house and they would work so well. And I also really like the fact that some of the swatches have open windows too. I love that. And I do think we need more of this. We need more open windows in The Sims because it just adds a touch of realism. Okay, now we've moved on to the interior. I did do the floor plan off camera, but as you can see, there isn't much to it. So I figured that wasn't too much of a big deal. So this is the kitchen area here. I'm gonna be honest, I think I could have utilized this space a little bit better, but I'm, I'm not too good with tiny houses. And whilst I absolutely love this one, this is definitely a learning curve for me and something that I'll probably take away and apply to my next tiny house when I build one. And it's learning to utilize the space a little bit better. And by that, I mean that maybe the bedroom doesn't need to be as big or, you know, like maybe the kitchen doesn't need to be as big. But I did also try adding as many like skill items in here as I can. <laughs> I've just said that out loud and I've also realized that that's not entirely true. So we do have a bookcase here. This this one from the basement kit does act as a bookcase so your Sims can grab a book. Now, my initial thought process was that I wanted to add a PC or a laptop computer in here and I just did not have the space for it. Now, if you want to add one onto the dining room table, 
go ahead. I don't know why I didn't add a laptop on the dining room table, to be honest, because your sim can just obviously eat on this little chair here. Now, if I was... <laughs> If I was being clever about this, I could definitely have fit a two-seater sofa in here, but I just love the fact that there's just a single armchair in here. My my sort of vision for this house was that there was just one sim living here. Like maybe they have a pet, maybe they have a dog or a cat. You could just add a pet ball somewhere. I was gonna do that, and then I thought, oh, I'm already struggling for space a little bit, so I just I just left it. But I think just one sim in here and i don't do this very often which is why i'm doing it today because i always do builds for like anywhere between typically it's like anywhere between five and eight sims right and then every now and again i'll do like one for two sims or three sims but i never ever ever do builds for just one sim so I thought this was kind of a good opportunity for that. So, and, and also the interior, like it tells a little bit of a story about who the sim like is that lives here as well. And I really, really liked that about this house. So I didn't think it was too big of a deal. <laughs> but anyway, we do move on to the bedroom now and it's the one and only bedroom, obviously. <laughs> and I do use this bed from the outdoor retreat uh, pack, which I don't ever really use. So again, because I'm doing a different kind of house, I'm using different items. I'm thinking a little bit differently. So I had an absolute blast with this house. I would just like to say that on the record right now, I had an absolute blast and I would definitely love to hear some more tiny house ideas from all of you wonderful people, because some of you have the most incredible ideas. And I just think, oh my gosh, I never, ever would have even thought to do that. <laughs> Oh, anyway, <laughs> I do very quickly ditch the base game chest of drawers and I add this smaller wardrobe here just because it's a little bit more of a space saver and I think I think it just fits with the vibe of the house a little bit better too. And then that mirror there is from the Growing Together pack, which I found I found a bit strange that that was included in that pack. Not the fact that we got a new mirror, but the mirror doesn't really, I don't know what kind of style that is. It's very unusual, but I ended up using it in here too because I thought it fit the vibe rather well. And the vibe of this house is that it doesn't really have a vibe. <laughs> it's just totally mismatched. And I just really, really like that about it. So anyway, yes, um, that's pretty much it for this house. So I really hope you enjoyed this video. But if you'd like to download this house, you can get it from the gallery right now. My Origin Ideas Rachel Ped. Tray files, as always, are linked down in the description box below. You can get them for free from Sim File Share. But thank you so much, everyone, for joining me here today. You all take care, and I will see you next time I post a video. Bye!